Hello everyone, my name is Ainolum Dola Inka. I shall be your facilitator on uh, some business software solutions. Yeah, we are business partners to Sage Evolution and sorry, we are business partner to Sage Pastel which offers Sage Evolution X3 300, Sage 1, Sage 50 account and so many other products. We are also business software providers or business partners to um, Power Enterprise, Power Soft Integrated Solution, which provide a product called Power Enterprise, Power Brokers, Power, power Insurance, and so many powers. Um, now, restricting our login, what we are going to be looking at today is uh, how to launch, how to launch. Uh, the Sage Evolution application on the system. When the application is installed, it drops an icon on the desktop depending on if you chose the option at point of installation. You could also decide you want to search for it on the program files where you could type in um, evolution. So this drops down the Sage Evolution uh, program for you, which you could click or you click on the desktop. Now, it brings up the login page for you. This is a login page for Sage Evolution, which is totally different from that of 300, that of line 50, line 100. Now, um, you have where you could uh, enter your agent name before you can be an agent of the system it means you have to be created on the system without you being created you can launch the application now also the system also has um, a default agent details which is called admin admin is a super user on the system so the system comes with an agent called admin and a password also called admin so which means before you can launch with admin you must have a password called admin except it was changed by an administrator also on the system or a super user if you are using the application for the first time, you need to use admin to log into the application. After entering uh, the password, you have where you could save this password. You could save this password for this system. So which means after saving it, you can't use another system thinking it is being saved on that system no you can only work on it on this system if it is saved if it is not saved it means you can still launch the application using your own password which means you must remember the password and type in the password so I have this for our training purpose um, don't let us use this now in our next training you understand better what this means what this means what this means these are just your database and where your database resides these are your companies where do they reside so our next training we are going to learn that so um, if you are using the application for the first time there is need for you to create what we call new subsequent training you are going to understand what this is meant to do new remove edit and locate this and this are two different things locate means you want to um, pull out a database that is already existing you're trying to look for a database that is already existing why new means you want to create a new database that is not in existence you have a dit means you want to modify a database that is in existence 
remove means you want to remove a database that is in existence does not mean you want to delete it's totally different from deleting now after this you can click on your ok when i click on ok it brings up this page for me launching the application i have this it brings up this transaction session date this is just a default page for you to um, you are trying to tell the system how to behave in terms of date in terms of transaction date what should be uh, what should pop up on your transaction on your document at every point in time when you are trying to raise a document or a transaction on the system you could decide that the system should use what we call current system dates which means the system dates on your application this this is your current system date. so this gets its current gets its date from here so if this is not correct definitely this won't be correct then specify a date you can also decide i want to specify a date so whatever date you have specified here is what pops up on the document now this transaction date doesn't mean you are restricted to that date you can definitely change the date at the point of doing that transaction you understand so you can uh, use you can change the date so this is specify or specific date which is your specified date you are specifying the date then also revert to system date on log off just giving this option or you are just telling the system to behave in a way that um, when I log off the application instead of having this date the system should use this date instead of it using this date again bringing up this option and using this date for me it should bring up this that is if I tick this if I don't tick it it still maintains the date but this is only related to system date on log off only if it has been logged off of the application I have what we call options prompt every time a company is opened every time a company is opened this should prompt you your transaction date should prompt you that anytime uh, you click on another company or the same company to log in into it this should come up this dialogue I mean this dialogue the whole of this dialogue should come up as it is like this that is for this option now prompt if session date is different to current date the only time this and this won't be the same is if you specify a date so if you specify a date then definitely there is no date there is no way this and your system date is going to be correct if i have this option chosen it means this date is the current date i'm going to be using so you are just telling the system that um anytime there's a difference in these dates and the current date the system should pop up this thing this dialogue buffer then never means never 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 pop up the screen for me so that is what this means then cancel means you don't want to save up these options uh you have said for instance you have clicked on another option you have clicked a different option then you click on cancel that has not saved it so okay means i have confirmed i have confirmed all i have chosen here so the system could save so if i click on okay okay even if i click on cancel this thing comes up but it does not save those options uh uh i must have modified at that hand 
but clicking on ok it means it has modified it now I'm looking at this now it has opened uh, the interface this is how the interface for your search evolution looks like this is how the interface looks like so you could say it is similar to sage like 100 you could say it is similar to anything but this is how this looks like um, now our next training i'm going to be teaching you how or what each of these features on the system mean in the next training so you could just keep a date with us on that so that you don't miss out of it now also we have a warning message here transactions have been disabled because the educational version limits have been reached please create a new company to practice on this only means that this database i'm working with has grown has grown the demo version so it means you can uh you can't use it so i can't perform any transaction on the system it has outgrown the system uh, demo so for you to be able to use the demo you have to go in or create a new company with uh, a demo version without that you can move on so um just watch out for us because i'm going to be teaching you on uh, system database company database how do these things relate how how do we get uh, how am i able to get my demo version at every point in time many people have called me many people have asked me oh i have a um, 30 days uh, license i have 30 days but uh, sometimes I, it's not up to 30 days but i just noticed that the system goes off it's not up to 30 days i notice that uh i can't use the application i can't i can't i can't um and i can't enter any transaction on the system so now our next train just watch out for us and it depends on the likeness depending on how many like you have imputed depending on how frequent you are on the system so if you are frequent enough if you are commenting on our page then i know that yes you actually need it then that is when we are going to do the training or we are going to post videos on this so thank you very much i still remain i know god bless you